Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. Very happy to have you here. Welcome. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a really cool acoustic technique. This is something that I love to use and I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Uh, I've designed this progression around uh, one of my favourite guitarists. Actually, probably my favourite uh, guitarist at the moment and that is John Mayer. Um, do we have any John Mayer fans in the house? Let me know in the comments or alternatively let me know if there is another great guitarist that I should listen to or I should get some inspiration from because the one thing I love about John Mayer is his use of triads. All right, and uh, I've seen him do this in a live performance, use these particular open chords, and I decided that I would do a lesson without completely ripping them off, but <laughs> uh, showing you some of the ideas that I learned from that, some really simple things that you can then use for yourself. So. We're going to focus around one main chord, okay? Uh, but we're also going to add in a few other ones uh, to make this progression sound really nice. Uh, but what I want us to do is to get this one chord under our belt and then I'm going to show you three simple uh, but nice licks that we can include. Okay, so the chord we're going to be using is a C sharp minor, which is in the key of E. It's E's relative minor or evil twin as I like to think about it. Every chord, major chord, has a minor alternative that share the same uh, the same scale. Um, but anyways, uh, all you need to do is make this shape, all right? So you put your index finger on nine on the G, your third finger on 11 on the A, and your pinky underneath that, right? So if you think about this as like the E minor shape here, okay? I'll tell you, this is really just a, a triad inversion of this minor bar chord here. But we've got 11, 11, and a 9, okay? From the A string. And the cool thing about playing in this key is we can play all the strings here and get this really lovely, full acoustic sound. Okay? Now, on our doorstep here, we have shape one of the pentatonic scale, okay? Which would be 9, 12, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 12, 9, 12. We can add in some extra notes from the uh, the minor. If we want. Now, we're going to be adding in um, one note in one of the licks, all right? That we'll get to in a second. Okay, so let's get that under our belts first. Make sure you've got that chord down. And it's sounding nice. Okay, so moving on to the three licks, okay? We just need to practice playing this chord and then playing the licks and then we'll bring it into the overall progression. Okay, so the first lick is going to go like this. All right. That there, right? It's simple, but when you hear how it all sounds together, you'll see how, how nice it sounds. So we're going to slide from 9 to 11 with our third finger. And then 9 with our index finger on the D. So on the A, 9 to 11. 9 on the D. And then 11 on the A. Alright, so. And practice sliding right into that. Okay, that's like number one. Like number two is basically the same, but we're going to come down a string with that, okay? So again, play the chord. So what we want to do is get used to playing a chord and then playing a little lick, all right? So lick number one. Lick number two. Now that brings us on to lick number three. And sounds like this, okay? So, what I'm doing is I'm pulling off and I'm getting that extra little minor note there from the minor scale from 10 to 11 with my index finger, and then 11 on the G, and then 9 in the G. Okay, so, so far, we've got three legs. So one, two, 
D. All right, so let's now bring that into a progression um, that we're going to use. So the again using this chord and using this um, this open chord kind of thing. All right, we've got the minor chord here. Now I'm going to bring back to here. I'm going to use an E triad by using the E shape. All right, E for egg and the A for apple chord. <laughs> All right, and um, so that is the E shape on the sixth and seventh fret. Again, claim all the strings, and then back to the open E chord. So this, that's our progression, right? So let's hear how those licks sounds once we play it in the context of that chord progression. Now, the one thing that I always recommend is figuring out the scales and the notes with every chord shape. And that way you can just embellish and express yourself freely uh, whenever you're playing the guitar. That's the kind of stuff I go over with my students all the time. For me, that is the best way to unlock the fretboard, bit by bit, chord by chord, scale by scale. Uh, but if you do want to work with me on that, uh, I do have space for some new students this month, so you can apply, book a call with me below. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.